Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, we'll learn how to solve second order differential equation using Scilab. Well, as you can see on your screen is a second order differential equation where y is a function of t and it is 2 d 2 y by dt square minus 5 dy by dt plus y equals 0 with the initial conditions y of 3 equals 6 and y prime of 3 equals minus 1. In case you are wondering what y prime is, it's just the derivative the first derivative of y with respect to t. So to solve a second order differential equation like this with some given initial conditions for y as well as y prime and if you want to solve it using Scilab what you need to do is you need to convert this second order differential equation as a system of linear first order differential equations. Now I'll tell you how to do that and to show you that or to demonstrate that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this example that I found over the internet and you can also find um, you know have a look at it by go visiting this link right here I'll make sure to add it in the video description so you can just check it out and you know if you have some more questions you can just go to this link and um, you know find it out so let's say I have a second order differential equation like 2y double prime minus 5y prime plus y equals 0 with the initial conditions y of 3 equals 6 and y prime of 3 equals minus 1. And here once again prime denotes a derivative with respect to x and with respect to t as a matter of fact since y is a function of t in this case. And um, double prime means a double derivative with respect to t. So what we need to do is to convert this second order differential equation as a system of first order differential equations what we need to do is we need to start by defining two new functions and those are x1 of t equals y of t and x2 of t equals y prime of t so these are the two new variables that is x1 and x2 which we are going to define now what we can do is we can differentiate these two equations with respect to t and as you can see what we get is x1 prime equals y prime and which in turn equals x2 since we have already defined y prime to be or x2 in fact to be equal to y prime so that's how you get x1 prime equals x2 now coming to the second equation that is x2 of t equals y prime of t if we differentiate both the sides with respect to t what we get is x2 prime equals y double prime that is the double derivative of y which in turn equals this value and how we get this is from the equation that we started with that is you take all these values right here to the RHS and divide them by 2 to get the value of y double prime and that's how we got that and we can replace these y and y prime by x1 and x2 as we have already defined previously. So similarly what you can do is you can convert these initial conditions into as functions of x1 and x2 as defined previously. And finally you can put it all together that is this would be your first differential equation if you just omit this middle term then you get x1 prime equals x2 with the initial condition x1 of 3 equals 6 and then you get another first order differential equation that is x2 prime equals minus half of x1 plus 5 by 2 x2 with the initial condition x2 of 3 equals minus 1 which was given in the question so that my friends is how you convert a second order differential equation into a system of first order linear differential equations now once you are clear with this step and you have understood it um, solving second order differential equation in Scilab is very easy and you will love it but you need to make sure that you understand what we have done right here so I will recommend that you pause the video or maybe go to this link right here and try to understand this carefully and you can even follow up more examples that are given on this web page and you can learn or maybe get you know more familiar with this process of converting a second order differential equation into a system of linear differential equation and that being said I would like you to know that not only a second order but any nth order differential equation can be converted into a system of 
and first order differential linear equations for example if you have a fourth order differential equation then you can form four first order linear differential equations with their in respective initial conditions and so on so any nth order differential equation can be represented as a system of n first order linear differential equations and that that is what we'll make use of in solving second order differential equations using scilab well that's it for this video and don't forget to watch the second part of this video to learn how to apply this method to solve second order ODEs using scilab thanks for watching and have a nice day